For God's sake, this man cannot remain in power. Nine ad-libbed words on the tail end of President Biden's speech would have huge implications. I wasn't then, nor am I now, articulating a policy change. If they weren't a non-starter. It, it wasn't planned, and obviously it created some discomfort among Biden's advisors because it went well beyond administration policy. I do not expect the policy to catch up. They are not going to adopt a policy regime change. Biden has since stood by his comments. The fact of the matter is I was expressing the more outrage I felt toward the way Putin is dealing and the actions of this man. Even as U.S. officials have walked them back. As you know, and as you've heard us say repeatedly, we do not have a strategy of regime change in Russia or anywhere else for that matter. The perception that the West wants President Putin gone from, from power is something that Putin has believed for at least a decade, going back to elections in 2011. And there has been a suspicion that he's had that the U.S. government, particularly Democratic leadership, has wanted him gone. And so the idea that an American president could come out and say that in such a formal setting, I think really raised a lot of alarms. They don't have a specific goal of that because it's just, you know, the, the United States has a, a messy history with regime change. While Biden's comments were intense and unexpected, it's not the first time he's had strong words for Putin. So you know Vladimir Putin, you think he's a killer? Mm-hmm. I do. I, I think he is a war criminal. He's a butcher. Putin has shown that he has a long memory when it comes to statements that U.S. officials have made. He has referenced, he and his government have referenced things that were say, said in the early 90s. And there's no suggestion that Putin is going to leave office anytime soon. So, you know, you can see this comment as something that will potentially be uh, be echoed um, down the years as part of this uh, troubled bilateral relationship. And it's Putin, it's Vladimir Putin who is to blame, period.